G'day guys, welcome back to another video here in beautiful Fiji. The weather is phenomenal. I'm out in the tinny with me mate Andy. And we are on a bit of a yellowfin mission after hooking up that yellowfin the other day. And I've come back to the same spot and there's birds working everywhere and there's there's tuna everywhere, but there's skipjacks and mac tuna and stuff. So haven't come across the yellowfin yet, but on the way out here, we did stop off at one of my favorite little bommies and andy first cast chucked the popper and hooked up a nice little gt um, so i'll roll on those clips now so you can check that one out and i'll see you guys back here so that way perfect oh yeah oh. fish on <laughs> that's the way we like it andy one cast two turns for the handle Is it a pup? It's another one. Man, it was aggressive for a little one. Yep. There's <laughs> a bluefin for that, is it? Nope. Nice little one. Thanks. You're right with that. All right, lead up. Oh, up to the bag. Look at that. First cast, one fish. Nice little GT. So we spent the next hour or so really giving it a good crack to catch some yellowfin. We had so much bird activity around us, so many tuna busting up everywhere. You know, we were trawling some divers, we were throwing some surface lures like some stick baits and poppers and, and things like that. Um, even trying to hit them down a bit deeper. Uh, but the yellowfin just didn't seem to be around. We had plenty of skipjack tuna, uh, plenty of uh, mac tuna and, and the smaller sort of variety, but uh, no decent yellowfin. Um, so we decided to uh, give that a bit of a rest and uh, go hit up a few of our well-known GT spots and, and even some new spots. All right, so we've just trawled over to a little bit of reef. That wind has died right off. I don't know if you can see here, but we've got fish hanging around everywhere. There's a nice big bommy just here that I've never been to. I've seen it on like Google Maps. Are they like little bluefin trevally? But have a good so yeah, there's a heap of fish and they're even feeding up on the surface over here. So it looks immaculate. The moon phase is one of those ones that's not real crash hot, like it was pretty much full moon last night, which is never all that good. But man, there's been fish everywhere feeding and we did get that, that GT first cast. So let's see how we get any inquiries here. It looks too good not to happen. Oi. Oi, coming on the top there. Oh, yeah, that was. That was yeah, it was in attack mode and then bailed. We got two. We thought it was a GT, but we got two sharks. Pretty decent size too. That's a big black tip. There's another one underneath us somewhere down there. Not sure if you can see that. That's another black tip as well. It's going to be interesting if we hook a fish to see 
what happens because they look they're like sure. <laughs> yeah their body language is like aggressive they're hungry I like this Did he have it there? <laughs> well, I can at least three. Jesus. What the hell? I even saw his head come out. Yeah. This spot, guys, is the sexiest looking spot. The visibility is off the charts. And Andy, who never ever wants to get in the water, is saying even he's tempted to get in here. <laughs> Look at that. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. That's so beautiful. This just drops off. It's just so nice. There's so many little cracks and caves. Like in between here and where those waves are breaking there, there's like a little lagoon area, which is not all that little, like it's deep. Because the viz is so good, you can see the bottom. It's probably 15 meters deep, but it just looks like this nice blue hole. Now all we need is the fish to play the game and it makes it world class. I'm gonna have a pop. So as nice as this place looks, there's not a lot of bait around and not a lot of fish activity. So we are heading to GT Alley, which is a little spot that I've got down here, which just the setup is just amazing. And even though, like I said, moon phase and all that isn't that crash hot, um, the, the, the point of the tide and everything that we've got now and the bait that has been around, I think it's going to be good down that way. So we're going to head down there and see if we can hook up. Oh, is it? Still there? Oh, good one too. Okay, so we've both switched up to floating stick baits. Because we've had a couple of big Mackies. One chased Andy's popper all the way to the boat. And then he chucked on this Nemo stick bait and something had a couple of swipes at it as well which we're pretty sure was a spanish mac let's do it Is it? Yeah. Awesome over that green water.
All right. Finally, hey? This one actually wanted it. It did. It's committed. I've gone too far across the other side. Yeah, yeah, that was super aggressive, like a Trevelli. There it is. Looks like he's still got some juice. Leader. Come on. Come on. Hey, that's a bit hot actually. Do you want to put it on the carpet? Alright. <laughs> oh. We went to organise there. Oh, that's hot that floor, man. I know, the floor's super hot, that's why I didn't want to put him on there. Well, well done, brother. That took a bit of work getting that one. He came flying out of the flat. Oh, he wanted that. Oh, well done at last. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful fish on a beautiful day and patience and persistence paid off. One fish will make my day. See you again. There he goes. We can have a beer now. So, yes, we can. I think it's swim time, Andy. Share the island with a few birds. Jump in for a quick dip, cool off, and then head home. Well, it is time to cool off because it is bloody hot. Oh yeah. Talk about paradise, eh? Well, the fishing obviously started out amazing. First cast, first fish. You gotta love it when that happens. Um, slightly disappointing around all the tuna before. They were busting up everywhere, but they were skipjacks and mac tuna, and you know we were running pretty big divers, so uh, you know trying to pick out the yellowfin. Didn't see any yellowfin um, busting up. It is the half an hour drive home from here, so. You know, we'll keep our eyes peeled if we come across any bird activity or any, any fish busting up. We'll, uh, we'll get the cameras rolling again and chuck a few lures out. Andy's throwing a couple of lures off the little sandbank here. First time I've ever been to this one here. Um, really good spot, awesome for swimming, uh, but really need the anchor because this, this cops it. <laughs> Look at me little boat getting thrown around. This, uh, this sandbank sort of gets waves from, from every angle. So thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks for all the support, all the likes, all the comments, any sharing that you're doing. It's really, really appreciated. 
And uh, the next video that I've got to share with you guys is an absolute cracker. Well, for me anyway, it's, uh, I'm so excited about it and I can't wait to uh, get it all uploaded up onto YouTube for you guys. See you on the next one.